Hi, this is Mark from Mark's Mandalas, and welcome to Lesson 4. Um, you'll notice that there are far fewer reference numbers in this lesson, and I am also adding another color of paint. There's going to be four colors. For this lesson, I've uh, decided to use red, green, white, and blue. And I'm going to be giving you another reference point when you're creating your mandalas to help try to keep it as balanced as possible. And uh, that's going to be a straight line approach. And what I mean by that, when I paint, I normally, almost all the time, will paint at my 12 o'clock, which is on the far side of the pattern, and I visualize a straight line. I'm going to have some examples coming up here shortly on this tutorial, and you may want to pause it to get a better look at those. Um, I find that this approach works especially well for me when I'm doing 8 or 16 dot patterns. And what I mean by that, um, all these lessons are an 8 dot pattern, and there are 8 dots in each circle of dots, 16 dot pattern, 16 dots in each circle of dots. For the 12 dot patterns, I tend to use the triangle approach a lot more. Um, but I have a couple of other visualizations I am going to try to incorporate. Um, another visualization I'm going to be showing you in lesson five. And um, I don't want to overwhelm you with trying to watch too many points when you're putting the dots down, especially early on. This is about having fun and relaxation. First and foremost, I want to stress that. And these lessons are designed to try to give you a foundation and uh, start it off on the right foot for doing dot mandalas. Uh, the most common reason I've been told why people haven't tried uh, creating a dot mandala is intimidation. They don't know where to start. And I wanted to find a lesson pattern that was enjoyable, not overly simple, but also not overly complex. And we are actually at the end of lesson four, and I hope you've had fun.